Here are 5 mistakes developers make when learning to script and how to avoid doing them. Tip number 1. Learn the basics. A lot of people find scripting too hard, so instead they rely on using free models and specific tutorials rather than learning how to script themselves. But learning the basics first will make it a lot easier. That way, you'll start to understand what each line does and then eventually be able to write your own scripts. And there's loads of videos on YouTube that'll show you everything you need to know when it comes to scripting for beginners. There's also the dev forum where other developers go to ask questions and help each other out. And then there's Roblox documentation, which is a website and explains a lot about scripting and Roblox Studio in general. Tip number two, organize your scripts. You can do this by adding in comments, which are used to leave notes and explanations. They're also really helpful when you're a beginner because you can leave notes next to each line of code, reminding you what it does and how it works. Having a good format also makes it a lot easier to read your script and you can do this by heading over to a script tab and selecting format document. And finally, keep all of your names short and understandable, whether it's a variable, a function or whatever else, otherwise it can get really confusing. Tip number three, errors. There's going to be times where your script doesn't work and you don't know how to fix it, so here's what you should do. Read the script again to make sure there's no mistakes because sometimes things will be underlined in red to show that there's a mistake on that line. Next, check the output window to see if there's any errors showing up and you can access it by going to the view tab and then clicking on output. But sometimes nothing appears in the output window so instead you have to debug it. You can do this using the print function under sections of your code and if it prints in the output then that part of the script is working but if it doesn't appear then that part of the script is broken. It's also a good idea to search the dev forum to see if anyone else has had the same problem and fixed it, but if nothing comes up, you might have to leave your own post on the dev forum or any of Roblox Studio Discord servers for help. Tip number four, try out different methods. Just because your script might work doesn't mean it's the most efficient way of doing it. For example, you can use one remote event instead of multiple and still get the same result. Or another example, you can use functions instead of repeating your code multiple times. And it might be a bit confusing to know which way you should do it, but if you keep learning and practicing, then you should eventually be able to understand what might be the best way of doing something. Tip number five, don't give up. This one might sound obvious, but going back to what I said in tip number one, a lot of people say scripting is too hard and that they don't understand what any of it means or they forget everything they've learned and then people quit because of it. But of course you're going to say stuff like that when you're a beginner. Learning to script can take a lot of time and practice, so keep on trying and don't give up. And that's going to be it. If you want to find out how to improve your Roblox builds, check out the video on screen now.